but you're going to have to order it. Right. The shiny lycra is back in style. I know it's not the 80s. Just, just a second. Tara Lynn, Tara Lynn, cheer face, cheer face. Pull your skirt down. Look, I've got to have it, okay? I need it by Tuesday. Shiny lycra, and I need it in pink and green. Not a light green, not a super dark green. I want like a medium green. And it has to be shiny, okay? Like 80s lycra bike shorts, shiny, okay? Yeah. All right, great. Can you do that? Okay, right. I'm going to need at least 30 yards of each. Great, okay. Well, call me call me back with that later, okay? All right, look, I'm at your practice. I got to go. Okay, bye. God, okay. I didn't think I'd get here. I did not think I'd get here. Girl, please. Cheer Lynn, I'm not going to tell you again. Cheer face. Cheer face. Cheer face. She stubbed her toe getting out of the car, and now she's... She looks like she wants to cry. Cheer face. God. I have had the worst day. First of all, this is the 10th day in a row I have had to do carpool, which I think is ridiculous. And everybody's like, well, you have the Range Rover. You can do that. And I'm like, I can't help it. All y'all drive economy cars. I mean, it's so... Right. How, how... It's so selfish. How can anybody be so thoughtless? I mean, how do you expect to do carpool if you have a little car, really? So here I am. I got everybody here. Tara Lynn. Okay, they're, all right. Okay. All right, she's getting in her group. She's looking good. She's looking good. How are you today? You doing good? Yeah. I know, I heard. I heard about that. Oh, poor thing. So I guess she's out for the rest of the season. <laughs> That's too bad. That's too bad. We should, no. I'm, of course I'm not happy about that. <laughs> you know, just because she can, yeah, just because she can do the jump better than anyone else. It's a shame she's out. Oh, it's going great. It's going great. We are working on some new uniforms for next year. It's actually too late for this year, but we're working on some for next year. Yeah, they're going to be really cool. They're doing a retro thing. Like we're going back to the 80s and we're going to go back. We've been actually looking at some costumes. We've been looking at some uniforms from the 80s, like the early 80s. And then we get into the mid to the late 80s. And yeah, you heard that. We're going to do some stuff with sh the, the super shiny lycra, you remember? You're probably too young to remember that. Bless your heart. But there used to be, um, it was really popular to wear that super shiny lycra, the, like the bike shorts. Yeah, so um, actually we're going to try to design some um, some costumes for a couple of the competitions next year in the shiny lycra because nobody's doing that right now. You know, it's like everywhere you look, it's sequin, 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 and nobody has any imagination anymore. So I'm going to get, my girls are going to get their sparkle from the lycra. We don't need all those sequins, honey. We don't need that. What, Tara Lynn? Well, where are your bobby pins? Hold on. Thank God I got my holster. Here, I got some in my holster. What size do you need? Do you need the mini ones or the regular ones? I got the regular ones right here. Here you go, honey. They're for who? I'm not giving her bobby pins. Give me that back. No, she can go to her mother for bobby pins. Uh-uh. No, I have to buy enough bobby pins as it is. She can go ask her mother for bobby pins. Okay, I'm not supplying all the girls on this squad. You can forget it. Okay, but this is the last time. Okay, you, last time. Okay, now going back out there. You feeling better? Okay, good. Smile. It's my own design. It's... It's actually modeled after uh, Batman's utility belt. Did you ever watch Batman? I decided one day um, that as a cheer mom, I actually kind of need something where I can reach things quickly. And as you can see, 
on my belt. I have all kinds of supplies. I have I have the bobby pins. I have mini clips right here. I have the mini, mini bobby pins. Mm -hmm. I have band-aids here. Lip balm here. Tiger balm here. Yeah, I even have Advil in here. Yeah, sometimes the girls need that. And I have some ace bandages in the back. So I'm ready for anything. There's even a separate, there's a hip holster for my hairspray. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, we can never have too much hairspray. Oh, look who's coming here. Hey, girl. Yeah, there's one that never uses hairspray. Her, her daughter always looks like she just crawled out of the woods. <laughs> How you doing? You look great. Bless her heart. She's changed sizes, but her clothes haven't. So where's your daughter? I don't see her. Oh, she's back. Oh, I see. She's in the group in the... Yeah, she's in the... Okay, she's in the back. So how, how's it going? I didn't see you at practice yesterday. Yeah, why weren't you here? Well, see, I come to every practice. I mean, I actually... Well, as you know, I mean, I, you know, I, I have designed my life around this. And I designed cheer uniforms in my spare time. So it's all about the cheer. It's all about... Exactly. It's all about the cheer. Yeah. Well, if it were easy, they'd call it football. <laughs> oh, looking good, girls. Looking good. Yeah. Wow, they're sloppy today. Oh, my bless her heart. Look at that. Look at Belinda's daughter. Oh, goodness. You know, I don't understand that. I don't under. What year is this? Okay, I know we're doing retro uniforms, but look at her hair, please. What is her mom thinking with that? She's got these two foot long bows hanging out of her hair, and then she's got that poofy thing on the top of her head, looks like a Brillo pad. What is that? Mm, I watched her yesterday. Her mama was over there fixing her hair. <laughs> I saw her. She manipulated that hair every which way. Had the had the had the ponytails way up here. It was so stupid. Had the ponytails way up here, and she knocked that poofy thing around. Never knocked it out of shape. It never moved. It never moved. She's got to have at least three cans of hairspray on that thing. I don't know if you remember, but back in the late '80s, girls wore their hair like that, and now she's doing her daughter's hair that way. What is she thinking? It's just so gross. Does she not look at all these other girls? And see that none of these other girls wear their hair that way? I mean, get with it, lady. Jeez. Tomorrow, I don't know. Let me look. Um, well, I keep my journal with me. Now, well, this is just for this week. See, I, well, I have to do a new one every week. I mean, because there's so much going on. Uh, this is for this week, May 15th, and I make this up every Sunday night. It's um, a little book, and of course it's color-coded because you are nothing without organization and cheer, as you know. If you are not organized, you're dead, and your daughter's dead, and then she will hate you forever, and you will never have a good relationship with her. Organization is everything in cheer. So every night, no matter how late it is, I make up my schedule for the coming week. We have everything in here for the next seven days. Um, tomorrow, oh girl, Tara Lynn. No, don't hurt yourself. You have a competition coming up. No, don't be a hero. See, I don't like her doing that in practice. I don't care what the coach says. <laughs> What's a coach know? Mm. See. No. No. I don't care if he doesn't like it. No. She will not do that. No, she won't. See, that's the thing. you got to put these coaches in their place. They need to remember who they're working for here. They need to remember the objective here, okay? Do I need to come over there? That's what I thought. 
see sometimes these coaches get a little full themselves and you have to remind them <laughs> you have to remind them of their place oh, okay now wait a minute tomorrow that's tomorrow morning are you talking about tomorrow afternoon okay um all right of course we have practice we have practice at 2 30 mm -hmm. and they are being fitted now you're okay she's she's in that competition right okay they're having their their final fittings for their costumes tomorrow at five so all the girls have to be there at five o'clock now of course as always I will end up having a carpool for like everybody because I know it's like nobody can ever drive anyone anywhere so it's always me so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go around and pick everybody up now if you want me to pick up your daughter I can do that like if you have to work or whatever um no well you do have to uh, we are gonna have to have a check now the two hundred dollars is due tomorrow the one hundred dollar deposit and then you have the 200 right um, so of course you're gonna have that for the yeah that goes along with the final fitting and then they are um, they have a new lady coming in I don't know how I feel about this they have a new lady coming in to do hair I have not met her I don't know anything about her the well, the girl who does my nails was telling me about it and uh, mm. oh look at that that's that's just sad I mean you can tell she has not been wearing her ankle weights that's pathetic good job yay god almighty the girl that does my my nails was telling me that the woman that she works with is going to start doing the cheerleaders hair I don't know why all of a sudden mr. high and mighty over there has decided that we're gonna change who yeah I don't know why he thinks it's his place to decide who's gonna do whose hair her name's Trish that's all I know I, I don't know where she's from I don't think she's from here um, that's all I've got is that her name is Trish and she's gonna start doing the girls hair now I'm thinking I'm gonna give her one shot I'm gonna let her try to do Tara Lynn's hair and if she if she butchers it I'm just gonna go free range I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna go rogue and I'm gonna get somebody else to do it and Bob over there can just kiss my butt so we have the fitting we have practice and then we have the fitting I don't really care to have the fitting after the practice but of course they didn't ask me if they had asked me we would have done the fitting and then had practice but whatever what I don't know where your spankies are I wasn't the last one to wear them why would I know that well well you're lucky I've got an extra pair I have their mediums well that's all I got right now and I have them in black and navy blue does it matter it's just practice Terrilyn who cares nobody cares take the black ones okay yeah go ahead oh girl I buy them by the gross she can't keep up with those things oh speaking of gross look who just walked in I thought her daughter got kicked off the squad well she got caught smoking in the locker room and yeah I need to talk to the coach because she got caught smoking cigarettes in the locker in the locker room and that is a huge no-no she's just nasty I don't want her here anyway she's not a team player you know she actually thought she was going to get to go in and watch her daughter perform for free <laughs> you believe that oh yeah at the Dallas competition it was hilarious she's standing there at the door like what do you mean I have to pay to get in to watch my daughter perform it was so sad so sad I tell you I am looking forward to the day that I don't have to plan all of our vacations around cheer so we can go somewhere other than Dallas Atlanta or Orlando <laughs> it'd be really nice <sighs> never mind the fact that I have like a gazillion extra dollars a year <laughs> to spend on stuff <laughs> that'd be really cool now okay okay 
Oh, here she comes. Oh, you know, I don't want to say anything, but, um, and I'm sure you've noticed this, but it seems like your daughter's uniform's a little snug. Is it that time of the month? Yeah. Oh, I don't mean anything by it. It's probably just baby fat. She's probably just getting ready to grow. You know, well, Tara Lynn is just so naturally slim. I mean, you know, she just can't keep any fat on her, you know. <sighs> oh, they're getting ready. Oh, look. Oh, look. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. She's going up high. Oh, goodness. You really think that's a good idea? What with her vertigo and all? Oh, I can't look. I can't watch that. Oh, thank God she got down. Okay. Is she still enjoying it? I mean, I know you and I have been talking to each other since they were in Tumblebees together when they were like three. <laughs> yes, Tara Lynn. Hairspray. Got that right here on my belt. Come here. Come here. No, let me fix your hair. Let me, let me just do it. Okay. Do you mind? Come here. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Hold still. God knows. Your hair looks like a rat nest. It's like the witch's robe in it. Ugh. Hold. I'm going to pat it down. Gosh, I've never seen such a mess. You can't go out there looking like that. Okay, fix your bow. Hold still. I get that. Okay, that looks better. Yeah, all right, go ahead. Go on, go on. We'll talk about your shoes later. I need to buy her another pair of shoes. I'm telling you. Well, she needs some in blue and white for the competition. God, where is the rest of her skirt? Ugh. It's like her mama thinks if she wears something all slutty, she'll get to stay on the squad. Like, ooh. Honey, no. No, Thursday, I, well, no, we have to go to Charlotte Thursday, remember? They're setting up down there for the competition, and we have to go down there for a run-through. All the girls are expected to be there. Well, I know the competition is until Saturday. Did you not get the itinerary? Do you not have that? It's like I have to coordinate everything for everybody. No offense, but God. Um... Well, no, I already have a room. Have you, res of course, you've reserved your room because by now they're all booked up. No? Oh, good luck to you. You'll be sleeping in your car. Now, okay, can you tell me who set up those chairs over there? What makes them so special? Why do they get to sit over there? I don't remember seeing those chairs in here before. Look at Crystal over there. We used to do pageants together. She thinks she's so special. She's, she sucks as a cheer mom, honestly. She does. She spends more time watching a football game than she does watching the girls. I mean, where are her priorities? You ever watch her? She sits there and watches the game. She don't watch the girls at all. It's got to hurt her daughter's feelings. I know it does. Yeah, she's so fake. Thinks she's somebody. I know for a fact she tried out for... She tried out to be a cheerleader four years in a row. Never made it. Yeah, well, you know, I wanted to be, but I had my weak ankles. You know, it's... It's like a birth defect. Oh, there it goes again. Uh-uh, coach. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. No, she will not. Get her down. She's got a competition. You're not doing that. Mm -mm. I hate it when I have to do his job for him. Two words I don't want to hear today. Double teaming. Don't want to hear that. The only two words that are worse. Closed practices. Mm. Excuse me. Okay, I don't want to make a scene here in front of everybody. 
But I'm going to have to have a little come Jesus meeting with that man. Coach of the year, my ass. Jeez. What, Terrellian? No, I don't I don't care what they've got new in the pro shop. I don't care. No. Do you know how much money I have already laid out this week? Exactly. With your new uniform and the competition and everything, we're looking at twelve hundred dollars, sweetheart. I don't want to hear about no, I don't want to hear about the new shoelaces. I don't care. I don't no, don't want to hear about that. Don't want to hear about it. Go back with your group. Go back with your group. You need to yeah, you need to work on that. Mm. It's like they don't appreciate anything we do. You know what I mean? Yeah, they don't. All the work we put into it. Okay. I have you down here. Now I want to, this is something I want to ask you about. Let me look at that. I have you down here to carpool Friday. Is that right? Are you carpooling Friday? Because if you are, that will give me time because I will get my Lycra by then and it will give me time to work on some of these uniforms. I want to put together a prototype. I want to just get one set put together. Like, um, yeah, and I can have Tara Lynn wear it so all the girls can see it for next year. So they can get a glimpse of what I'm going to do for them. Yeah. Well, I'm the team saving grace. I mean, everybody knows that. My God. <sighs> Yeah, but, yeah, but with that coach, I don't know what would happen without me. Yeah. Oh, hey, honey. Hey, what? She's looking real good this year. Yeah, she's really blossomed from last year. I am so, I'm just continually impressed with her progress. Yes, I am. You should be proud. Yeah, well, it's good to see you. Her daughter's like a Clydesdale in spandex. Oh, she's so awkward, bless her heart. She tries. Yeah, that's her daughter. She tries. But God Almighty. She's, she, something about the way she's built. She just looks like she has kneecaps all over her body. And she has no rhythm. Bless her heart. The only reason she's still on the team is she's the boss's. She's the. Yeah, she's his niece. She's the coach's niece. That's the only reason we all know that. I don't think her mama knows that. It's just kind of shame. It's a shame that she spends all this money on all that cheer gear. And the poor girl just, man, she can't do nothing. I don't know if she's going to the competition or not. I sincerely hope if she does that the coach will put her. Yeah, just like a stand-in. Yeah, like a backup. If she's on Tara Lynn's team, I'm going to have a holy fit. I'm going to have a holy fit. Because she will bring her down. She will bring Tara Lynn down. Probably literally. She'll probably bring her down and drop her. And I can't have that. Tara Lynn is too young in this game to have an injury like that. Yeah, knees up. Knees up to your chest. To your face. Oh, they're good girls. They really are. They really are good girls. Yeah. And look. Oh, I know. I don't know about her either. They just moved here. I don't know where they're from. They're not from here. Look, she don't even know the cheers. She just sits there. She don't mouth them or nothing. She don't know the words. She thinks she's a cheer mom. She don't know. Okay, well, if you're doing carpool, that will give me time to get the uniforms put together. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Um, and I have so little time as it is. Right. Okay. Oh, God, they're getting the pom-poms out. What are they doing? Oh, crap. Oh, they're getting ready to do that one. This is the one where Tara Lynn gets thrown up in the air. Tara Lynn? She's coming right back. Settle down, Bob. Come here. 
do not get hurt, okay? You have a competition. If you get hurt, I'm going to string you up, okay? Do not get hurt. Now go on out there. Smile. <laughs> God, I'm going to have a heart attack. I'm going to have a daggum heart attack. Why are they doing that today? Bob, do you have a death wish for these children? He can't hear me. Oh, <laughs> nice. Did you see that? He flipped me off. He acted like he was scratching his ear and he flipped me off. Real smooth. Yeah, I'm gonna have a word with his I'm gonna have a word with his boss. Mm hmm I'm gonna go to the cheer commission and complain about him. <sighs> oh no girl, she made it clear that she mm mm. Now her daughter won't ride with me. She said, No, I don't need to carpool with you. She homeschools. Yeah, she thinks she thinks her stuff don't stink. Yeah, she likes to keep her daughter separate. I mean, look how she dresses her for these practices. Look at her. She's in sweatpants. Now you look around. Ain't no girls here in sweatpants but her. She thinks she's so much better than everybody else. Oh, well, dee da. You try to help somebody out. Good job. Nasty. She's like a Clydesdale. She's like the horses in those beer commercials. Look at her. Look at her. Look, look, look. Oh, God. Here she goes with the baton. Look. Look, she's going to throw it. She's going to drop it. Look, there it goes. And she dropped it. <laughs> Good job. Good try. Good work. We ain't gonna win. I can tell you now, we're going to Charlotte for nothing. We are not going to win this year. You know what we gotta do? We got we gotta cull the herd. We gotta get rid of some of these girls. How are we gonna do that? I mean, legally, how can we get rid of them? You what? Come here. Come here. Nope, got it right here. Ace bandage. Wrap it around that knee. Now don't do that again. Don't let her do that again. Wrap it around your knee. Okay, we're going to ice that. As soon as you get done here, we're going to elevate it. We're going to ice it. Mm-hmm. That's right. You keep it simple the rest of this practice. You hear me? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, you and me, you and me, that's right, okay, Bob is giving me the evil eye, I'm going to go over there and we're going to have a talk, <laughs> yeah, oh, you got time for me, okay, great, I would love to discuss my daughter's future on the squad. Absolutely. Let's go in your office where we can talk in private. Great. Okay, I'm going to go set this coach straight. I'll be back later.